Hey everyone, welcome to my talk on patent pledges in open hardware. My name is Ivo and I'm the Managing Director at IO, a new generation of interdisciplinary practice where technology consulting and legal advice come together quite like never before. My business focuses on supporting companies to prototype and build solutions that not only comply with the vast array of legal, ethical and technical requirements across the world, but also solutions that contribute to building social capital. IO is based in Bulgaria, but we operate on the European market and beyond. Communities and starting companies are the kinds of clients we are most excited to work with at IO. So this talk is supported by a lovely research initiative I've been involved with for the past two years, and which has been supported by the European Union. The Zoom project aims to build tools and provide guidance for developers, companies and consultants on how to master business models with appropriate open licensing strategies across the three O's, so open source software, open hardware and open data. In just a week or so, we're going to be releasing the first version of a toolkit that brings it all together. Check out the website for more information and reach out if you'd like to know more. So what is a patent pledge and why should you care? A patent pledge is a unilateral public commitment to limit the enforcement or rather exploitation of one's patent rights. Tesla is of course not, only the, not the only company to have made them, even though Elon Musk's famous blog post that you see on this slide remains one of the most off-cited examples. Red Hat was an early adopter of patent pledges making its first patent promise in 2002. These days, a growing number of patents are pledged at birth that is, they are subject to their owner's patent pledges as soon as they are issued. Now, patent pledges represent commitments made by patent holders, but they lack many formal contract characteristics. So these pledges are typically not signed by the beneficiary. They involve no direct consideration and often the beneficiary remains anonymous to the pledger. So consequently, questions arise about the enforceability and binding nature of such pledges. Many pledges are not documented in signed agreements. Instead, they are publicly posted on the pledger's website. So the legal impact of these pledges relies heavily on principles, uh, common law such as equity, estopel and uh, reliance. To enhance the legal validity of their pledges, some pledges explicitly assure the market that their commitments are binding and enforceable. So Red Hat, for example, explicitly states in its 2017 patent promise that it intends the promise to be binding and enforceable. And so does Tesla. So can you rely on patent pledges to be legally binding? The answer is yes. Now, this is an example of Tesla's patent pledge, where it essentially says that it will not initiate a lawsuit against any party for infringing a Tesla patent through activity relating to electric vehicles or related equipment, but on condition that the party is acting in good faith. So what does that mean? Importantly, for a party to be considered acting in good faith, among other things, it must not only have asserted or helped assert patent or other IP rights against Tesla, but also any patent right against a third party for its use of electric vehicle technology. In other words, if you enforce your own patents against third parties, at least those operating in the electric vehicle field, you'd lose your good faith image, at least in Tesla's eyes. This was the crux of the issue in a series of litigation between Tesla and CapXX, an Australian supercapacitor company. So, what happened so that Tesla had to sue another company in the EV field, despite its pledge? In a nutshell, in 2019, CapXX sued uh, another company called Maxwell, alleging patent infringement. Tesla then acquired Maxwell Technologies, so CapXX's action was seen as acting in bad faith, according to Tesla's patent pledge. After litigation in the US, CapXX lost to Tesla by a decision handed down in December of last year, where the court found that CapXX's patents were invalid and therefore could not have been infringed by Maxwell Technologies. In July of 2023, likely in response to the ongoing litigation, Tesla itself filed a lawsuit against CapXX. At this stage, it was clear that CapXX was acting in bad faith, according to the interpretation in Tesla's patent pledge. In the end, all disputes were resolved through a confidential settlement agreement executed between the parties in March 2024. So, was this much ado about nothing, and what can we learn from this litigation? To me, a company that embraces the open source philosophy can leverage Tesla's innovation documented in its patent filings effectively standing on the shoulders of giant, to put it that way. However, if the company secures patents for its own inventions, enforcing them against competitors, this would be considered bad faith under Tesla's patent pledge, potentially leading to legal action by Tesla. Conversely, 
a company declining Tesla's offer would be unable to utilize innovations covered by Tesla's patents. Yet, if this company develops its own technology, its patents would be enforceable. These patents could help, for example, the company establish a niche in the electric vehicle market and prevent unauthorized use of its inventions without licensing fees. In summary, and to answer my original question, open hardware communities can predictably rely on the patent ledgers of proprietors that have made them in earnest. However, you should not blindly rely on media reports or statements made in blog posts or other non-binding documents. Always make sure to consult the binding document. In case you wonder, Tesla's pledge is still perfectly valid and it is being enforced, but not with respect to proprietors that manifestly act in bad faith. So with this in mind, thank you very much for your attention and I look forward to the Q&A session.